Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I got these delicious chicken empanadas. It's quick, easy, beginners friendly, doesn't take that much time. If you if you guys would like to see how I made these empanadas, continue watching. Also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Also, follow me on Instagram at lavish looks underscore by Kiki. Alright guys, so these are the ingredients that we will be using today. I have the Goya empanada disc. You get this in the frozen section at the food store. I have an onion, green pepper, red pepper, Maggie, pollo, chicken flavor, bouillon, tomato sauce, saison, cilantro, adobo seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, what did I miss? And I think that's it. Oh, and chicken breast already sliced. So we're going to get this stuff together and let's make our wonderful dish of chicken empanadas. Oh, wait a minute. And I have some shredded cheese, Mexican cheddar jack. All right, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of the chicken bouillon to the boiling water. Going to give it a stir. And then I'm going to add in my chicken breast, which are already cleaned. I soaked them in water with some vinegar. So I'm going to put these in the, the boiling water. And I'm going to let them cook for about a good 30 minutes with the top over it. Now we're going to get into our vegetables. Alright, so now we're going to chop up our onions and our peppers to bite-sized pieces. Alright, onions, I did a half an onion, half red pepper, half green pepper. So now we're going to saute the, the, um, the vegetables and wait for the chicken to finish and then combine everything together. All right, so now we're gonna cook our vegetables. Gonna pour in some olive oil. Well, our vegetables and our chicken. Put in some olive oil. Gonna add in some minced garlic. So now we're going to add in our onions, pep red and green pepper. Watch how you get it. Pour it. Alright. Going to let that cook down, let it get a little soft before we add our chicken. Want this to cook some. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. so good. That's you smelling like that? Okay. So the vegetables are done cooking. 
I'm going to take a nice amount of, well, a small amount of the cilantro. I'm going to add some here. I'm going to add my chicken. So this is my chicken all shredded. Chicken. Mix it in. You can still, if you feel like your pieces aren't small enough, you can add, you can chop them up too. Like pull them apart while they're in the pot. All right, we're gonna add our seasoning, which is the half a teaspoon of everything. Half a teaspoon of saison, pepper, um, saison, pepper, adobo, onion powder, and garlic powder, and black pepper. Get that seasoning in. Gonna add a little bit of the water from the chicken. So you can say like chicken broth. Not too much. Because you don't want your stuff to stick to the bottom of the pan. But you also don't want to put too much because when it's time to put it on the empanada disc, it'll seep through. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato sauce, like a half a can. Stir that in. I'm gonna let this simmer down some before I add it to a bowl and start the empanada dish. All right, so the chicken is done and shredded. So now you're gonna get your empanada disc. I'm using the Goya brand. I don't know if there's any other brand, but this is what I always use. And I have my parchment paper. You want to make sure your hands are clean because you're going to be touching all on the disc. So you're going to get your disc. Get your disc. Get your disc. You're going to get some chicken. Here I want to put too much. Because you have to be able to close the, your um, empanada disc. So I'm going to put some like this. Move in here. More to the middle. That. Take it like this. This and pull it over to meet the other side. Like this. Just like that. Get you a fork and press down the sides. Just like this. Just 
to basically close the disc so nothing comes out when you're frying. Just like that. It's so easy. I have 10 that I'm making. Because it's just three of us eating the empanadas because my oldest son doesn't eat this stuff. So we're just going to do the same thing all over again. It's in the middle. Pull it here. And close it. Fork. Press down the sides. Seal the dill. Just like that. You can add some cheese. This is when the Mexican Cheddar Jack comes in. Just gonna add a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna have five with cheese and five without. And then the same thing. That towards the middle and close it. Boop, just like that. Alright, this is my last empanada. While I was making empanadas, I had my oil on. So, I can hear it over here. It's getting, it's pretty hot. So, I, it's ready for the empanadas.
All right. Let's head on over to the oil. All right, so the oil is hot. So I'm also making this with my empanadas. The Goya red, rice and red beans. So my oil is ready. So I'm going to put my empanadas in. Just be careful because you don't want the oil to splash on you. I'm do three at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pot. My heat is on low. Act like you're frying. Act like you're frying chicken. You don't want it to be too hot. All right. So that's cooking. And um, I'll be back once it's finished. All right, guys, and just like that, the empanadas are done. They're nice and crispy and delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and a comment down below if you like empanadas and um, or if you're going to be making some empanadas after watching this video. Until next time, you already know, be safe, be healthy, and be blessed. Bye.